Welcome to Polymath Gyan. Today, I am going to talk about an analogy between artificial intelligence and human psychology. Artificial intelligence, a term coined by John McCarthy in 1956 as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. This topic has gained a lot of traction in the past decade. Why it is relevant in human psychology? Because Computer scientists are trying to create these machines by studying how humans work. Two key areas of artificial intelligence are deep learning and reinforcement learning. Deep learning can be seen as a simplified model of the brain, like how our neurons in our brain are connected to each other. Disclaimer, it is not a direct adaptation as I said, we have tweaked it a lot. But to keep things simple and easy to understand, you can think like that. Development of deep learning systems utilizes these patterns of our brain on how these connections of neurons can be used to store the factors on which we make the decision. The second method in the artificial intelligence is reinforcement learning. In this method, we try to mimic how we learn as kids. In simple words, we create a blank machine which knows to do nothing just like a baby. Then it takes a random actions and we give rewards based on the same. If it does the something which is correct, we give it positive rewards. And if it takes a wrong action, we give a negative reward. So over the course of times, the machine learns to do something correctly given the conditions of the environment. Recently, the scientists have tried to merge these two fields into one field called deep reinforcement learning. Why I am telling this? Because this is the closest thing we have reached towards a human level intelligence in performing intellectual tasks. Now coming back to the today's main topic, transfer learning. Why it is important? While I was reading about this deep reinforcement learning, I came across the same concept. Because deep reinforcement learning is an expensive procedure we want to reuse what we learned, like how we learn driving. We are not starting with absolute zero knowledge. An instructor gives us the basic knowledge, then we build on top of it. What I'm trying to say here is coming from Chanakya. Learn from others' mistakes, because we don't have the time to make it all by ourselves. By this, what I mean is, as an aspiring polymath, I cannot learn everything from scratch. I have to depend on others to learn. And this is exactly what I'm asking you to do. Learning from others' experiences. This will save you a lot of time and will help you achieve more than you could ever do by yourself. So from now onwards, I'll be posting messages from other people also, where you will hear from the people in their respective fields like technology, business, people management and health. Starting with my partner in Polymath Gyan Jisa, who will be coming up from the next video onwards. I'm not claiming that they are world famous experts, but people like you and me who have struggled their way through education and found their path. They may not be famous people like Einstein and Newton, but they are nothing less than great people. As someone told, not everyone can be famous, but Everyone is presented with an opportunity to be great. Thank you.